the people who actually kidnapped us, um, the gunmen who kidnapped us in our car, were not the people who, as it were, minded us, who kept us captive. And uh, although we were handcuffed day and night, we were not abused, we weren't hit or anything of that sort. I describe it as a sort of rather an out-of-body experience where you sort of say, well, is this, what, is this is what kidnap's all about? I can't say that I was actually scared for my life. You know, I wasn't a, a shivering wreck. We couldn't see how the kidnap was going to end. Um, fortunately for us, when they took Tom Fox away, uh, they made an excuse why they were doing it. Um, we didn't know that they'd murdered him, yeah. so that we were unaware of it. Um, now the Canadians, the two can who were actually Canadians at that time, they felt they were fairly safe because Canada had no part in the, yeah. in the invasion. And I think it was felt that I was more at risk. But I wouldn't have called it an extreme case for forgiveness. I mean, if somebody had murdered my yeah. children or um, my wife mm. in some yeah. pointless aggressive at act yeah. I think I would have found it more difficult but as far as the people who captured us um, I, I, I have no hatred in fact I you know as I've said I believe hatred to be a negative emotion that it destroys you mm. so there's no point and we've also had the problem of can we forgive on behalf of um, Tom Fox and all I can say is that from what I know of Tom Fox he would have forgiven them mm. and certainly wouldn't want them executed mm. that's why I've said I'll only give evidence in a trial if there's a guarantee of no capital punishment well I was surprised when there was this you know when there was this television thing on what, yeah. what's it called hard questions or something it, yeah. It's on Sunday mornings, yeah. and um, uh, th th I was surprised that the sort of uh, th th this this man Peter Hitchens should sort of say should rubbish almost the whole idea of forgiveness, um, and as you say, it is it is seen as weakness, yeah. and I think the press expect people to be angry and to be unforgiving, yeah. and are surprised when people do do forgive. Yeah. Apparently the whole concept of non-violent peacemaking would seem to be a foolish concept and certainly is against the culture of our day. Um, well, I've always said the saddest thing was the effect on Pat. But I mean, I can't, you can't, there's no point in regrets, is there, in life. You've done what you've done and you've got to put, <laughs> you've got to put up with it. And it has given me this enormous opportunity to talk uh, to talk to you <laughs> about forgiveness and to talk to lots of people about uh, um, non-violence and a lot of links were made with Muslims.